shifting gears to the latest on Dubai Design Week, this year's edition features a packed program comprising over 230 activities, including design-centered lectures, exhibitions, workshops, and more. More than 120 institutions from around the world are coming together for the six-day event. Dubai Design Week is always a celebration of new ideas and serves as a meeting point for design professionals from the region and beyond. The Design Week's famous global graduation show is one highly anticipated part of the event. Take this for example, is this a new model of aerial photography or a new toy for children? We create a twinkle, a flying lamp. They're just like fireflies. During the daytime, they perch high on lampposts and charge. When the sun sets and people pass by, they fly down and light your way back home. There's no blind spots on those empty lanes. When twinkles are low on battery, they fly back to the lamppost and recharge while functioning as normal street lamps. In addition to people-oriented designs like twinkle, eco-friendliness is also high on the agenda when it comes to industrial designs. And as programs, including competitions, talks, workshops and tours, are focused on stimulating conversation between roles in the field of global creative innovation and the public. I really like the exhibitions going on and they all have a different vibe to them. So uh, creating different experiences in each design is something I can take out from here and incorporate it into my own designs. at university. The exhibitions here, we haven't seen all of them yet, but they all look very interesting and very thought-provoking as well. Last year's event drew in more than 60,000 people. This edition, run until the 17th of November, is expected to set a new record. Today, CGTN. It's known as The World. That's one of Dubai's most ambitious and extravagant real estate projects ever attempted. But the project has lain largely derelict since the 2008 financial crisis hit. One property developer, though, is trying to breathe new life into this mega initiative with an ambitious project. Our Jacob Greaves explains. Welcome to the so-called heart of Europe near Dubai. Six islands, four kilometers off the coast, with themes ranging from Sweden to underwater floating accommodation. But the project itself has at times had a sinking feeling. The development is part of what's known as the world, 300 man-made islands shaped like a map of the globe. Imagined in the heyday of Dubai's property market, then the 2008 financial crisis hit. Heart of Europe was ready to start construction in September 2008, 10 years ago. Our master plan was a mix of touristic and residential. We changed this master plan three times from 2008 till today. Also the, the, the project became much more uh, rich in its, in its offer and, and, and its quality. For developers' clientites, that means climate-controlled outdoor streets where it will snow and rain, all under the heat of Dubai's desert sun, and an ambitious time frame. By 2020, the plan is to have 4,000 units ready and available for use. We're told of those, 1,000 have already been sold. But this project poses one distinct question. How much have the luxury travel and property markets changed in the 10 years since the financial crash? The aim is for this to become a second home market as well as a luxury travel destination. With villas and palaces priced from 16 to $100 million, they'll need deep pockets. But the development is also banking on a boom from Expo 2020. A World Fair the UAE hopes will attract 25 million visitors. With hospitality, there's always the what about Expo uh, 2020. And any spike that comes over, say, 2019, 20, and the beginning of 21 till the Expo is there, we feel that's sort of going to be artificial in the sense it will be as a result of the event. How that uh, plays out right after, I don't think anyone has that crystal ball at the moment. The original world project now lies largely derelict, to many a monument to the excess of the time. Kleindienst are betting on this being a whole new world. Jacob Greaves, CGTN in Dubai.